foster care center? Twins? I don't know all the details. But this is what I do know, is that they don't have a home tonight. She's completely deaf. I'm really concerned about her future. It's such a nice day to be at the zoo today. What should we look at first today, girls? The bear. Where are the bears? Ah, uh, let's see here. The bears are. Oh, right here. We need to go that way. Let's go. Christy, look at the bear. You see the bear? Yeah. Whoa, wasn't that so cool? Yeah. Oh, that's my phone. Who could that be? Hello? Yes, this is Renee. Um, yes. Foster care center? Twins? Oh dear, that sounds terrible. Okay, okay. Yes, I'll call you right back. Who was that? That was the foster care center. Oh, what's the matter? Yes, well there's a set of baby alive twins that are three months old. And something just happened to their parents. Why? I don't know all the details. Why? But this is what I do know, is that they don't have a home tonight. Oh no! That's so sad! Of course we have to say yes! That's what I'm thinking too. What do you think, baby Emma? Uh, okay, I will call them right back, okay. right now. Okay. 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 So don't even worry about it. We've got it all covered. We've got beds and clothes for them. Okay, sounds good. Bye. What did they say? They said that they are on their way to our house right now and they should be there in about 10 minutes. we got to go. We've got to go yeah. right now. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, let's Come go. on. Come on, girls. Okay. Come on. And they're closing in the five minutes. Come on. with babies inside. Okay, you girls run to your room and I will bring the box in. Okay. okay. Let's see what's in there. Girls, here they are. Oh my word. <laughs> Have you ever seen such cute babies? Oh, the poor babies. They are so cool. We have to love them forever. We seen so like this video. Oh, well, we can't get too attached to them, girls. They might go to a new foster home tomorrow. But aren't they so cute? Oh, they look so poor. Oh, they are. They're kind of dressed in rags and old, let's see, old dirty clothes. Hmm. But they are the same. Yes, they are identical. How cute. Is she going to sleep? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, they're getting tired, aren't they? Oh, they left a package. Yeah, what is this? Yeah. Oh, it smells kind of stinky in here. Oh, this is their birth certificate. What are their names? It says Lizzie and Lottie. That must be their names. Yeah. Why was he pink and lovely purple? Hmm, that's a good question. 
I don't know, maybe it's just to look pretty. Who knows? Their birthday is September 1st, so that means they're just about three months old. Oh, and they look like they're about three months old. They're getting to be so alert and cute. They are cute, but how are we ever gonna tell them apart? I know, I know. You know what, Toria? I saw two mysteries. You solved two mysteries? Mm -hmm. Really? This is Lottie and this is Lizzie. Really? Yeah. How do you know that? Because this baby living on Pete visit. Her name is Pete. Her oh. living in a purple pink. So who must be Lottie? You're a detective, Toria. Yeah. I think Toria is right. I think these twins do too. Oh, <laughs> they're so cute, aren't they? Yeah. I wish we could find out more about these babies. Why are they all foster care? How long we get to live on them? I know, girls. The one thing we do know, we have them right now. And we must love on them right now, just like you're doing. Yeah. We'll give them all the love we can. We might never know what will happen to them tomorrow, but we can love them right now. Yeah. Ew, look how dirty they are. Their clothes are stinky pee. Poor Ew. babies. I wonder when the last time they got changed. They are. Look at these old pants. Ew, gross. <laughs> they must be hungry. Let's feed them and then let's just them off in their tit claws. Yeah, let's heat up their bottles. Okay, hey, so Toy's gonna fill up the water can with their bottles. Good. Now okay. carry that to the stove. Perfect. And we'll heat those up to get them warm because they're newborn still. I see them done. Okay. okay. Let's go get those to the babies. Are they taking their bottles well? Mm -hmm. Oh, I hope they're not getting you girls wet. Are they soaked through their outfits? Yeah. Oh, we're gonna have to change our clothes too. We can just take that off. Poor little baby. Well, we're gonna give them a bath after this. Oh, wow. Did you see how, f and she wants more. She drank that so fast. Is Lizzie done with hers too? Oh. Okay, well, they seem so hungry like they want more bottles. They're kind of fussing, but I don't think we should give them any more because we don't want to give them too much. Let's get them washed up and dressed, and if they're still hungry, we can give them more after that. Does that sound good? She's still I know, but we can't give her too much. It might hurt her tummy because she may have not eaten in a while. Hey, girls, let's take off their rags and their old clothes and get them all ready for their little sponge bath. Okay, Ooh, I think she has one diaper on and it's like soap for her whole outfit. And let's get them what we need soap. Uh, yeah, totally. They're very smelly. Yeah, there you go. So, there we go. Yeah, let's get them washed up here. Here, to Christy. Oh, and I'll, I'll just, I mean, just throw these old rags away. We won't even wash them. Poor babies. Come wash their arms and their face. Oh. And they're back. Oh, she's giving you kisses. Do you hear blowing little kisses? Uh huh. Feet. Legs. Yeah. Oh, she thinks something. Oh, do you hear them laughing? Okay, and I have some lotion too for them. Let's put some fresh lotion on now that they're clean. Here you go. I just happened to have these adorable little outfits that I think would just look perfect on them. Do you want to put those on them now, girls? I need to put on this one. Okay, I'll help you. Come here, little Lizzie. We are so excited to have them tonight, aren't we, girls? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, look who fell asleep. Good morning, babies. Hi, Lottie and Lizzie. How are you? Time for breakfast. Yes, it is. Let's pick out some twigs to play with. Oh, Lottie, you like that? Okay. Just a couple things for them to play with while I make breakfast. I'll start by heating up their bottles. Here we go. Keep up 
but nicely. Girls, how are you doing? Oh, Lottie. Yeah, are you enjoying your book? Lizzie, are you enjoying your toys here? Lizzie. Lizzie. Huh, that's weird. Lizzie. 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 That's so weird. Lizzie. Lizzie. Oh, now she's going to look at me. What was that about? Why didn't she look at me when I called her? Are you just getting so engrossed in your play? Let me go check on those bottles. Oh, they seem perfectly warmed. Here are your bottles, girls. Lottie, you so excited about your bottle and you hungry. And Lizzie went over to play with her toys over there. Lizzie, I have your bottle ready for your breakfast. Lizzie, Lizzie, here's your bottle. What is going on? Lizzie, here's your bottle. Oh, now you're excited about your bottle. I really don't think that Lizzie's hearing. As you know, we've had our little foster babies for just a little bit. I've never noticed that before. Lizzie, can you not hear? Oh, she might be living in a very silent world right now. We're gonna have to test this out this morning. Poor little Lizzie, we're gonna help you. Just a little bit extra worried about this. I've never had a baby that was deaf before. Of course, we don't know for sure. So in just a minute when they're done with their bottles, I'm gonna try something with some chocolate chips to test and see if Lizzie can hear or not. I hope it works. Okay, you all done with your bottles? Yeah. Looks like they all finished them. Okay, so what I'm gonna try doing is getting Lizzie's attention here with her pacifier. Yes, which I have it. See, she'll look at me when, now she doesn't see me. Lizzie, come here, here, follow your pacifier over here. Over here, Lizzie. Yes, see what she sees it. She knows to look this way. Yeah. Now, I'm gonna try something. I know that one of the twins' favorite little treats are little tiny mini chocolate chips, so I'm gonna see if I can call Lizzie over here with these. Lizzie, I've got a chocolate chip for you. Lottie, you can get one. Lizzie, I've got a chocolate chip for you. This is really starting to concern me just a little bit. Lizzie, Lizzie, Lizzie. See, she can see me right here since I'm right here. Do you want a chocolate chip? I've got your favorite chocolate chip. Yeah, oh, she loves it. Well, we finished up breakfast and I'm still very concerned about this. Lizzie, are you going to be okay? You know, I think of all those things that we enjoy when we can hear, like singing and music, and even things like birds singing or like hearing the ocean. Oh, there's adorable little Lottie. I just wanted to pick out a really sweet little sleeper for Lizzie. It says beautiful in every way. And Lizzie, if you really can't hear, you're still beautiful in every way. But you know, Dolly friends, I just think about like, if she can't hear all the things she'll miss out on in life, the things that we enjoy hearing. But no matter what, you are beautiful in every way, Lizzie. What is that? A beetle? A dragonfly? You know, I was just noticing that as I was like trying to just say, where's the ladybug? She didn't know where that was. And I was thinking about just going forward, how hard that could be with a little one who doesn't hear. Like she would need special teachers and would need to learn a new language, like sign language probably. I'm just feeling a little bit sad thinking about that. But we're gonna move forward. I think it's time to make dinner now. Well, I was wondering, could you help me set up some toys for the twins? And would you want to help me cook some dinner? Yeah! Oh, how cute That's that so is! Cool. Was that baby Emma's? Yeah. Oh, they like that! Is that so fun? Oh, that is such a fun little bike. I wonder if they could both ride on it at the same time. Yeah! Oh, that's so cute! Oh my goodness, you girls! This yeah. is Lizzie's one. And then it's Naughty's turn. Oh, wow. We're going to grill? Yeah. That sounds yummy. Are you still having fun over there, Lizzie? 
Lizzie! Oh goodness, it just seems like she's not hearing. Lizzie! Hi, big girl. We can see mommy now, can't you, huh? Okay, so we're making some pink noodles for dinner. There, now try it. Okay, let's make our noodles. The twins will love to have some noodles for their dinner. I just want something to really comfort Lizzie. I can't imagine what it's like to live in a silent world. <coughs> Ooh, there go the noodles. Hard work making dinner, isn't it, Toria? Yeah, of course she did. <laughs> What's that? I wow. <laughs> well, shall I turn some music on? Yeah. Aw, that's so nice. Okay, what should we make next? Should we make some little veggies in here? Yeah. Press our vegetables. Mmm. That'll go just perfectly with our noodles. Baby should love that. Does your baby alive have trouble hearing? Introducing the new hearing aids exclusively for Baby Alive's. We can get your beloved Baby what Alive to hear again. This technology is only available in certain parts of the world. Wow, but only in certain parts of the world? Check with your local Baby Alive doctor if these hearing aids are right for your Baby Alive. I've got to look into this. Victoria, could you finish making dinner for the twins while I call some different Baby Alive doctors in town? Oh yeah, I guess tough with this mom. Okay, Lizzie and Lottie, you come with me. I'll watch you while I make some phone calls. Bert, it's kind of chilly in here, isn't it? I'll just turn our little speed feeder on while I check on the internet. Okay, I found four places four baby doll doctor offices that I'm going to call. Hi, I'm Renee Kelly and I just heard about Baby Alive hearing aids. Do you all offer that technology there at your Baby Alive doctor's office? Okay, thank you. Do you all offer hearing aids for Baby Alive at your Baby Alive doctor's office? No. Okay, I'll try again. Lizzie, Lizzie, don't touch that. Oh my God, Lizzie! No, honey, that's a hot heater. You can't get close to that. Look at mommy. Look at mommy, honey. That's so dangerous. You could get hurt. Wow, there are so many different ways that we use hearing to protect our little babies. I just don't want you to get hurt. Well, I called all four Baby Alive doctor offices in town and not one of them offers Baby Alive hearing aids. So, not sure if we need to check into other cities and travel and go there or what. I just called all the Baby Alive doctor offices in town and none of them offer Baby Alive hearing aids. Oh, Mom. I don't see Dr. Tulip is just the baby one doctor. I think he's here to help all the baby dolls. But I wonder if he does hearing aids for Baby Alive. Wow, that's such a good idea. But I wonder if he would have that because it's such a, a new technology. Well, we can at least try. That's true. I'm just kind of concerned about Lucy and the challenges she might face if she never can hear. I know, Mom. Betsy. Okay, let's dial his number here. I hope he answers. Thank you, Leo. Oh. Hi, this is Dr. Tulip. Hi, Dr. Tulip. This is Renee. I'm calling about our baby alive, our realist can be twin Lizzie. It seems as though she can't hear. She's not responding to anything auditory. Really? I'm really concerned about her future, but I... So sorry to interrupt, but guess what? 
Our baby doll office is becoming certified in baby doll hearing aids. Oh, I'm s that is incredible. Our, our whole staff is taking the courses needed to help deaf baby lives. It's really important for us to stay on the cutting edge of baby doll technology in our office. But there's one problem. What is that? My schedule is booked for the next three months. Oh dear. But you know, I might be able to tweak some things and make an opening in, in the next few weeks. Now, if you want to see what happens next with Lizzie and her hearing aids when she goes to see Dr. Tulip, click this video right here and we'll see you over there right now.